Okay, let's talk about a pattern interrupt. Again, this is not in your manual, so you might want to write this down. It's important for us to interrupt the pattern or the behavior somewhere close to the beginning of the behavior. You see, what we're saying is that every behavior has a beginning and an end. And think of it like this behavior is heading down a train track. And what we want to do is we want to interrupt that pattern and change the behavior. Send it down a new track. Think of, did you ever watch any of the old cowboy movies? And maybe they wanted to rob the train. And so while some of the guys were jumping on the train, up, a fr up far ahead, somebody would take one of those big metal levers and he'll pull it across to actually change the track so that the train goes down a different track. And that's what we want to do with a pattern interrupt. We want to stop that behavior. We want to stop that direction in which the person is going so that we can change the behavior. In fact, remember the old record players. If you took the old record players and what would happen if you took off the needle and you just put the head onto the record and let it play? Of course, it would scratch the record. And if you then put the needle back and you try to listen to the record, it wouldn't play properly because it would have scratched new grooves. And this is the same thing we want to do with the pattern interrupt. We want to interrupt that behavior so that the behavior doesn't go the same way again. There was this advert in the UK. Uh, a mom and her son were busy shopping. And the son was throwing a terrible tantrum, laying on the floor, kicking and screaming, hitting his fists against the wall, or sorry, against the floor, and really just making a big noise. And so his mom looked at him, and she laid on the floor, and she did the same thing, only she did it louder, and she was banging her fists on the floor, and that just immediately stopped him from doing that, because moms aren't supposed to do that, are they? And so that child's pattern was interrupted. And he just stopped. Yeah, he stopped doing what he was doing. Now, there's a, there's a number of ways we can do a pattern interrupt. Uh, one of the things that you'll hear me ask quite frequently is, do you smell popcorn? Or, you know, what did you have for lunch? Or anything that has got nothing to do with the subject that, you know, we might be talking about. And it's simply just to get that client to take their mind off what we were doing and think about something different. Another way you can do a pattern interrupt. Let's say that you had a child that was doing something that maybe they shouldn't be doing. Instead of saying to them, don't do that thing. You see, the unconscious mind doesn't register negatives. Instead of saying, don't do that thing. All they hear is, do that thing. Rather say to them, stop. Imagine what that does inside your head as you listen to that. Stop. Well, the unconscious mind, actually everything, the behavior just stops. And now you're waiting for what needs to happen next. And of course, that's then what you tell them what you really want them to do. So instead of saying what they shouldn't do, just go stop. And then say what you want them to do. That's another example of using a pattern interrupt.